Welcome back to Exotic Gaming. Today we're going to be going over three base types you can build that are simple and purely made out of wood. So let's get to it. Here's base one. It's pretty simple. The zombies can come up this ramp here that's very angled and they jump over to this side, come up to another ramp. You can lift these hatches and then attack them from this side. Now, if you can't get a good angle on them when they're coming up this way, I would build hatches on the roof. This is what I did. And you can just close these ones, either crouch or whatever, and get a really good angle on their heads as they jump over this. Pretty satisfying. As we turn around here, we got ladders that go up to the top level. The zombies will climb up these if they break through. That's a big if. They will have to jump over these to get to this ramp. And as you can see, I got plates on either one of these inverted. It's very important that you know that these plates are inverted against each other so that the zombies think they're connected and that's why they try to go this way and as always you got to build these hatches because the hatches are what keep you alive you know what i mean got the bird nest or the the bird cage up here keeping you safe from birds and the, the good old robotic sledge ready to sledge some zombies now check out base number two this shit is high Look how high up this thing is. Now, I've taken advantage of the vertical limit on any block in the game, which is an infinity. So you can go as high as you want, even with wood. And you can take advantage of this, which is what I did. And I've inverted some plates into the floating method. The zombies that climb all the way up these ladders that you can shoot at while they're climbing will fall all the way down here and probably die, honestly. If you spec into two turrets, in your leveling path, this will be almost an impenetrable base, even from destroyers or whatever, because they're going to try to climb this. And now on to base three. Now this one's a little bit more complicated, so bear with me. This base has two entrances, the front and then the back, which is this way. You have this side and then this side, but there's two main entry points. I guess is the best way to say it. This base is like one big maze, essentially. The back side handles itself, which I will show you in a second, but this front side is gonna to need to be manually done by you. So the point of this is to leave all of these hatches open. This is what convinces the zombies to come inside. Only open the ones that you need, or that you need to close to keep the zombies out. So if the zombies are coming in this way, I'll close this one and hit them and then continue on retreating as you need. DB. Turning around back here, this is the main entry point. This is where you want to make your last stand, essentially, to keep them in. These gates close like this. The hatches are on the side, so when they open, they shut like a door. So you open one, you hit, you hit. This one almost gets, this one gets destroyed, you know. You can shoot them through these bars right here very easily. I love shooting their legs as they're at the door. Or throwing, you can throw shit under it too. It's pretty funny. <laughs> As you move back in the base, we have the last room that you're protected from birds into. This room is what you're going to use if the zombies break through this main gate or if you need to go back here to defend the back gate. So going down here, this is what we have. A huge hole with ladders going up to the sides. And as you look back here, there's plates on these as well to confuse the zombies into jumping them like we discussed earlier. This thumper will push them back, and if they fall down here, they climb right back out and keep on trying. Now, if they break through this, the thumper will slow them down so you can attack them back here. Because ideally, when Horde Knight happens, they'll, they'll attack from either the back side or the front side over here. Hmm, now you're probably thinking, what was the base so big for then? Well, it's more of a precaution than anything. So what happens if they do break in through these walls is they will go up these ramps and they will come back into circulation in the system. As long as you're playing with the hatches correctly, it should work out fine. Now, from what I've tested, they haven't broken through that way because if you play the hatches open, they won't see the walls as a faster way to get to you than just coming in through one hatch. Check out these videos on the left if you want more building videos of 7 Days to Die and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Doses.